So next one is duct fitting. Uh, as you know, uh, there are plenty of shapes available when it comes to square ducts, okay, uh, which will be helpful. Then uh, width, height, length, basic dimension of a duct, okay. Uh, next one is width 2, width 3, length 2, length 3, okay. Width 2, width 3, uh, length 2, length 2 and length 3 will be useful for the T. Some unit, some dimension could be useful for the elbows, right. So, as per the formula, you can mention the value on the respected cell and you can get the answers on the area section, okay. We have area in here. And we have quantity as we all know each duct piece has the length of 1.2 meters right so if the area exceeds or else if the length exceeds the 1.2 meter mean you can simply mention like how many quantities you need right so this is how this works okay next one is total area total area as in the total area is a multiplication of one quantity into area okay it's called total area okay um, you may not need this two while you calculating this uh, duct area calculation but anyway uh, if in case if you need this you can use it okay remarks what duct is it is a supplier duct retainer duct or else uh, exhaust air duct, fresh air duct, it could be anything. You can uh, mention that for your reference. And acoustic liner. So acoustic liner, what is the advantage of this acoustic liner? Well, acoustic liners will be useful for the noise suppression. It could be a replacement for the sound attenuator, right? So mostly when it comes to FCUs, FCU this area this fcu's hookup area will have this acoustic liner for the fcu the length of the acoustic liner should be at least 1.5 meter from the fcu for the ahus the length of the acoustic liner should be 3 meters from the ahus okay also the thickness could be the material of the acoustic liner anyway it could be from 12 mm thickness to 25 mm thickness based on the acoustic liner's quality. The next one is we have uh, gauges of the duct. Okay, we have 24 gauge duct, we have 22 gauge duct, we have 20 gauge duct, 18 gauge duct. Right, the gauges could be decided based on the standards that you are following. It could be from Smagna or else DW144. So, it depends on your standard you can choose like whatever the duct gauge you need by referring the standard okay for example when it comes to dw the duct gauge for the 24 gauge is 0 to 400 mm so 0 to 400 mm duct sizes we will use this 24 gauge duct 400 to 800 mm duct gauges we will use this 22 gauge duct okay so you can refer this chart from this magna rls dw144 you can download it from the internet or if it's possible i will attach it to this sheet okay uh, you can easily refer it okay and you can just uh, once you find out find out like for example here we have width of uh, 0 0.6 by and the height of 0 0.4 so where it will come it already exceeds 400 mm it's uh, in a meter for example uh, so in meter that could be 0 to 0 0.4 meters right so here it exceeds uh, 0 0.4 meters so it will come on the 22 gauge okay for the 22 gauge the duct sizes could be from 0 0.4 meter to 0 0.8 meter so uh, you can just simply press equal sign then you can choose the same area value in here okay you can see you can so choose same value in here and uh, press enter as you see the value came up right so this is how you can use this duct gauge why it will be useful well when you send an inquiry you can easily mention like for the 22 gauges of duct uh, how many square meters you need for the 24 gauge of duct you how many square meter you need because the price will be changed it depends on the gauge of the duct